Uh, hello everyone so welcome back so we are again here to discuss the another poster in the topic that is called projection of points okay so this is the question and this is our imagination of as per this question so let's find out what question is and what examiner wants and then afterwards we will see that this imagination and understand this imagination on the basis of this question okay so the point C is 15 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of VP. So it is very clear that the point C is in first quadrant. Okay. So because it is above HP and in front of VP. Okay. So 15 mm above HP, 45 mm in front of VP. So you can see here it is 15 mm above HP. So 15 mm above HP and 45 mm in front of vp so this is your point c okay so in what quadrant another point d lies if the distance between the vertical projections of c and d be equal to 60 mm okay so what examiner wants that you have to tell in which quadrant your point d lies whether it is in the first second third or fourth okay so let's forget uh, this line for some time and we will move forward the distance between the what the distance between the projectors through C and D should be 42 so here what examiner says that the wherever the C point projects and wherever the point D projects the distance between both of them should be 42 so you can see, see here that this is a top view of point C and this may be the top view of point D it the distance between them should be 42 okay their projections okay and the point d is 40 mm in front of vp oh let's see where this very much clear now that point d is in front of vp so it must be in first quadrant or fourth quadrant okay so it is clear from your last line that it should be in first quadrant and fourth quadrant it cannot be in the second and third as in front of vp we always have first or fourth quadrant okay so let's see and make this question and see in which quadrant your point d lies okay take a line okay then first of all you have to project point c because everything is given that above hp it is okay above hp it is for uh, above hp it is 15 okay and in front of vp it is 45 so this is a projection of your point c okay i'll make a point over here so this is a point this is a point so i highlight my points with the help of uh, another command you if you remember that it is a ddp type you will just write over here okay i'll write over here ddp type ddp type okay enter so you have different type of point styles over here so okay i'll select this one so that's why i have this type of point over here okay i'll select maybe i'll select this one so okay so you can see here the points have been changed okay so okay i'll uh, take it the same one so i like that one so you can select any one whatever you want so this is just a highlight of your points because point is too small it cannot be seen okay so you have to highlight your points so that can be seen to everyone okay so this is a projection of point c this is a front view this is a top view of point c so okay i'll make a nomenclature over here so this is c dash okay okay too small make it right click go to the properties go to the text height and make it six six or seven whatever you want okay then escape so you can see this is a c dash okay okay make it uh, something near to your point move this is your point okay so make your o snap off then move it okay put over here so this is c dash and the same way i'll uh, make the nomenclature in the top view so i'll put over here 
and select it and remove the dash because this is a top view of point C. So you know, this is a front view and this is a top view of point with nomenclature. Okay. So now I'm going to project point D. Okay. So I know that the distance between the projection of point C and D should be 42. Okay. So first of all, you have to make a distance between C and D that it should be 42 it okay your point might be in the left side and it might be on the right side okay you can make in this way also you can make in this way also it doesn't matter okay but according to my imagination i'll take my point d to the left of point c so i'll make also over here okay so i'll take a line okay i put over here then so this should be the 42 okay so you can see that this line this line actually uh, okay I'll select this line represents the distance of 42 and from here your projection of d going to be happened okay so well uh, okay now it is very much clear that point d is 40 mm in front of vp so okay friends it must be in the second or fourth quadrant and and you know that the distance from vp always seenable from top view okay so you can see that this distance yeah this distance this which is for which is 40 mm it is seen only from the top view okay so just make a projection of point d from your top view and you see that whenever you see this point whether it is in first quadrant or whether it is in fourth quadrant your projection of top view always goes on the hp okay it always goes on the hp okay and you know that after the projection on the hp the hp on from this side always rotate clockwise downwards it goes downwards okay so if it goes downwards whether it is in first quadrant whether it is in fourth quadrant it always goes downwards it means the distance of 40 mm from here it always goes down from your reference line which is xy line okay so this is 40 okay so this is done okay so this represents a point d from your top view okay so okay i make a nomenclature over here again i'll select this c copy a i'll select this one make it copy and put over here okay then select it I'll just select it to remove c and it is actual d so it is d and it is top view i know that so it remains as d okay so i need the front view of d now okay the thing is now we come back to this line that in what quadrant another point d lies if the distance between the vertical projection of point c and d be equal to 60 mm so you can see here friends red lines red lines over here this is red line this is red line it represents distance between vertical projection of point c and d so what is this the what is actual vertical projection so, so you can see here that if you see the vertical projection of point c this one okay this one the projection of this one goes on this side means the front view the front view is actually a vertical projection of point c this point okay so in the same way let us suppose the point d is in first quadrant okay and this represents the this represents the vertical projection of point d so the distance between their vertical projection is 60 mm okay and let us suppose if your point is in fourth quadrant so this represents your vertical projection of point d and again the distance between the vertical projection of c and vertical projection of d b 60 m okay so how to find out this thing so okay again now you have to take a circle now 
okay if you are working on your uh, engineering drawing phase means if you are working on the uh, sheet drawing sheet with the help of drafter then you have to take a compass and put a compass the steel part of the compass on the c the front view of c and open your compass up to 60 mm and make an arc over here make an arc over here okay and make a arc over here but wherever it cuts so the uh, cuts the line of point d okay but we are using autocad or cad system so we are using circle command because compass you you know that the compass is used to make the circles so instead of compass we are using circle command and okay so i'll take this one who oh, snap on so you can see that this is also a compass like feeling so you can see that this is compass okay so instead of compass we will use circle command in the autocad okay so what i know that your compass is going to open 60 mm it means the radius of the circle is 60 mm so just put the 60 mm and enter so you can see here friends okay this wherever this circle cuts the projection of your d this becomes your front view okay so it is very much clear from only this side that it is in front view this is in fourth quadrant okay so also it is this is also in the first quadrant you can say that okay i'll make this one okay just i just extend the projection of point d towards your circle okay now to extend this line again if you're using drafter just put drafter over here and make a line over here but in this i'll use extends this in the modify we have extend command so i i select extend okay so wherever you want to extend up to this circle so i'll select this one then right click and which line you want to extend so just come over here and make a left click okay so then escape you can see here this is my extension of my this projection of point d towards the this circle which is 60 mm okay friends now you can see that this point represents a front view of point d and this point also represents a front view of point d okay so okay I make a points over here this one this one okay now you can trim your circle so this one i'll trim it trim this one trim this one now you can very well understand that okay take a dimension as well you take this one this one you can see that the vertical distance the vertical distance between the the distance between the vertical projection is 60 mm so this is 60 mm okay so now make a nomenclature over here okay i'll make copy of d okay then put over here this is d dash this is again a d dash okay just select it to put the dash so dash okay again select this and dash okay so you can see that this is a completion on a coaster okay so just uh, this is a coaster in which you are have to find out you, your particular point is in which quadrant okay after that you have to write over here that point d maybe in first or fourth quadrant okay so this is a, just a completion of question and just improve the text of this go to the properties improve the text height okay you can just make six done and this one okay so you can see that this is a completion of my question so i hope you better understand this okay make a dimension you can also make a dimension you have to make a dimensions over here wherever the distance of this one and this one 15 this one and this one 45 
this one and this one this one this one okay so there is no need to give the dimension of this one okay that how much it is above hp or how much it is uh, below hp there's no need to give the this dimension okay so you have this dimension 60 mm you have done it this 15 mm above hpc point done it in front of it is 45 you have done it okay the nomenclature is done this is also done you highlight the points it is done and all lines should be thin continuous you remember it it must be thin it should not be dark okay all dimensions given so this is a completion of your questions all nomenclature have been done i hope you understand this question this is very very uh, uh, simple question and it may come your exams so thank you friends